Hello everyone, welcome back to Walk With Me Gaming. So, I just played Pokemon Channel, and it drove me insane, so I decided instead to play another Pokemon game that I knew was actually enjoyable. So today we're playing Pokemon Pinball. Uh, <laughs> this is a game I absolutely loved as a kid. Um, I will say this, I am not good at pinball, I never have been. Um, it's never really appealed to me, like, when you play an actual, like, pinball game where there's the, y you have to, you know, keep the, keep the ball in play and get all the bonus points and all that, I was never good at that. Um, so, like, anytime I play a pinball game, it's just, it goes very poorly. Um, <clears throat> like, I'm always, I always lose immediately, um... Basically, if I have to spend a quarter to play a pinball game, that quarter is going to be gone within minutes. Um, but I will say that Pokemon Pinball is a lot easier for someone like me who has no concept of how to play pinball correctly. Yes, did a thing. So now we got an upgraded Pokeball. Uh, so this this game was, uh, I thought, great. Um, it's fun. It's an interesting take on how to... Uh, make pinball fun for people who don't usually play pinball because um, you had the catching mechanic where you, you can catch an assortment of Pokemon and evolve them and train them and I don't know it just felt good it, it was a game that just felt really good um, to play in general so I'm very happy to be put oh oh good ball saved um, like I have no idea with pinball like I, I all I see is just like flashing numbers and things all over the place. I have no concept if I've uh, got a ball saved or whatever, or if, if the the game is still in play. Like it, it's all confusing to me. But I don't care because um, I'm just having fun with this. Uh, I think I hit small. Dang it! Oh, cool. That's well, that's nice. Let's see how long that'll last. That's the kind of thing that I, I'll get the bonus multiplayer multiplier and then I'll be like oh now I lost uh, so it doesn't even matter because that's just how things go with me in pinball <laughs> Ooh. Psyduck <laughs> this game is super cute um, and they do have like you can play on the red or blue version of the levels which are slightly different I think just based on which Pokemon you can catch in them uh, and they did make a Ruby and Sapphire version on the Game Boy Advance, but I wanted to play the old school one because this is what I grew up on. Um, again, I'm going to be posting this on the Indie Games Day. Um, I know that it's not an indie game, but ooh, Bellsprout. Uh, but I don't care because I just feel like doing something different. Um, and, I mean, who, who's going to complain about more Nintendo games, really? Come on now. Um, but I'm not going to do, like, a... Uh, like massive playthrough on this just just because like I said like Pokemon's not exactly my or pinball is not exactly my forte and um, to me like this is fun but there's only so many times I can play it without going like okay I think I've done everything I can without learning how to be actually like good at pinball <laughs> Oof, moving slow on this one no nope. Come on, I need more shelters. Oh, one more. Oh, okay, good. I was like, are you serious? <laughs> I like Bellsprout. Bellsprout was underappreciated, as weird as it looks. It, it It's just, it's an underappreciated Pokemon. <laughs> there we go. Alrighty then. I don't think they can bust out. All right, cool. I'll take a bell sprout, and I get a bonus. Thirty second balls. All right, well that's good for me since I'm terrible. Come on, give me that slow poke. That's what I want now. Cause with the, uh, as you've seen with the shelter, you catch new Pokemon. But with Slowpoke, it'll evolve the Pokemon that you have, which is also cool. And they both work a little bit differently, because with the with the evolutions, what you need to do is like hit certain buttons on the on the pinball game. Are you serious? I'm so bad. 
Um, you gotta hit certain buttons and then collect the experience points like scattered around the, the pinball machine, which is, I think, a neat way to do it, because then you get to, uh, you have to explore. Like, I assume that that's part of how pinball works in, like, real life, but, like, the idea of actually, like, utilizing the space and exploring the space, I think is a cool way to do a pinball game. Ooh, one more, one more catch. Psyduck! Yes! Everyone's favorite psychotic duck. <laughs> he's not psychotic, he's psychic. Which, he's not actually psychic. It's one of the, one of the many weird, weird moments of, um, the first generation of Pokemon. They're like, Psyduck, he uses psychic abilities caused by headaches, and it's like, is he psychic type? Well, no. But, uh, Pokemon Generation 1, for those of you who don't know, was actually a fairly broken experience uh, for a lot of reasons. At least the, the original Red and Blue games, because you had things like Pokemon that I, I feel like the types didn't match up, and there was a severe distortion of like which types were more frequent. Alright, we got a Great Ball now. Isn't that just nice? Alright, we got enough. Get the Psyduck. <laughs> um, but, uh, and then the fact that there was actual, like, uh, moves that were, did the exact opposite of what they were supposed to, uh, like, uh, I think, uh, oh, what was it? The one that was supposed to increase critical hit, focus energy, was supposed to increase the number of critical hits you got. Instead, it actually completely decreased it. It made it zero. Um, so, you know, good on you, Pokemon. And the fact that, like, Ghost Pokemon were supposed to only be weak to bug Pokemon, and there was only one bug attack that was useful, and it didn't really work. And Psychic Pokemon were supposed to be weak to Ghost Pokemon, and that didn't work either. So it was a it was a whole debacle. Oh, I want the bonus. Oh, please let me get the bonus. Don't let me lose. No. Does that mean I don't get the bonus at all? Wow, wait, was that just one ball that I used? Oh, thank goodness, I can still get it. I really want this, because this is fun. I remember this. Oh, all the memories coming back. Oh, come on. Why? Just go, go in the hole. Ah. Uh. Did did. Go in the hole. Oh my gosh, pinball. Yeah, I have no control of this. Are you serious? All that with one, and then I completely screwed it up with the next. Seriously, that was it? <sighs> Alright, we'll play another game. Does it actually have every Pokemon in here? I think it does. Wow. That's actually surprisingly advanced considering that game's like you know, Pokemon Snap had to have a, like, limited decks of, like, 50 Pokemon. But then again, they also had to make 3D renders of them, so. Ooh, are we starting? We're starting in Lavender Town. Oh, man. I think I, I you know, it's funny, because I grew up, um, my, I owned blue, and my brother owned red. But I definitely, when we played the pinball game, I definitely played the blue version more than I played the red version. Although I do like the red version as well. It's, uh... An interesting take on it. Come on, hit the hit the Voltorbs. What is that? Is that a, is that a Growlithe? Looks like Growlithe. Oh my God! Really? Ugh, drop it. Come on now. And <laughs> the Ditto. There's so much good use of uh, an assortment of Pokemon in this. I can't hit one Voltorb. Get up there. Wow. How many times are we gonna hit that bell sprout and we can't hit any of the Voltorbs? Alright, there's one. Yep, it's Growlithe. And I really want that Growlithe, so I need these Voltorbs. And I can't get to them. Come on, are you serious? I'm gonna use all this time and I'm not even gonna catch anything. Is 
Thank you. Oh my god. I'm not even gonna have time to catch it if I do unlock it. Finally! Come on, Growlithe. No. No, get it, get it. Get it twice. Oh, now I hit the Voltorbs. Oh, come on, 20 seconds. I'm so close. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, uh, terrible pinball player. Like, I, I, there must be something to, like, when the ball rolls across, like, the, the paddles there. Like, there's got to be a certain time where it's, like, better to hit it. But I have no concept of that. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just playing it. I watch people, like, play pinball, like, on a, a higher level than me. And I'm just, like, awestruck because I have no concept of it. I feel like the only, the only, the only arcade game that I have any skill with that could be comparable would be Crazy Taxi. So... You know, good times, but I, I wish I was good at pinball, especially because we owned a pinball machine, or my grandparents owned a pinball machine, and my parents did too, but my parents was broken. So, another Growlithe? Really? Couldn't give me something new? I want to expand my Pokedex. And why are there Growlithes in, in Lavender Town? I, I want a Ghastly. Wow, I closed that off and it still won't let me hit anything. Oh, <laughs> we're glitching through the system there. That's fun. I don't know why I just did there. Oh, we got a thing. So that's good, I guess. Come on. Come on. Two more. <sighs> don't need Bellsprout unless he changes what Pokemon's showing up. Which I don't think he does. <sighs> this, this, like, this pinball machine, I, I don't know, what do you call it? A map? I keep wanting to call it a map, but I feel like there's got to be another word for it. But this, this pinball map is, uh, definitely harder than the blue one. Uh, one more. Thank you. Let's get to double catch a Growlithe. Growlithe was awesome. That was one. That was probably one of the one of the few uh, in Pokemon Red that I actually liked over Pokemon Blue. Growlithe and Scyther, because uh, Blue got Pinsir, and come on, Pinsir's Pinsir's nothing compared to Scyther. Scyther's his own special thing. <sighs> All right, well, two Growlithes. I guess we'll take that. Pika! Have I lost, uh... I have not lost one yet. And there... I curse myself. See, that that's the thing with pinball. It doesn't feel... To, to me, it doesn't feel like you have any control over it. And I'm sure that's not the case for people who actually know what they're doing, but... To me, I just, like... Nothing... Nothing feels like there's any sort of control. It just feels completely random nonsense. Give me those Pikachus. I don't know what they do. All right, that's fine. Sure. <sighs> Give me another Pokemon. Oof. <sighs> Fair enough. Does my bonus keep going? No, I didn't think so. Now you hit the Voltorbs. And straight through that thing. Ugh. Brilliant. Thanks, Pokemon. <laughs> I think I'll do one more round of blue. Because I'm, I'm having fun with this. And this is uh, so much more enjoyable than the other Pokemon game. <laughs> God, Pokemon Channel was so ridiculous. Like, it's it's funny because I wanted to play it because I we'd played it when we were kids, and to me, I remember it being essentially kind of like games I do like to play in general, where it's like there's no challenge, it's just it's just like exploring a world 
and uh, and just doing little tests. But you don't, you can't fail, you can't die. And then I'm like, as I'm playing it, I'm like, there, there's a difference between having like less to do in a game, like like walking simulators. Great, I didn't even get close to the. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, I'll do one. I'll do one more on blue. Um, but there, there's a difference between having like a story without like as much action and having a game that's just straight up nothing to do. And uh, that is exactly, wow, <laughs> immediate. And that's exactly what Pokemon Channel was. It's nothing to do. Um, it it, it kind of makes me laugh because I'm like, why did we play this as kids? Like, why did we find this in any way enjoyable? <laughs> Wow, I just can't even right now. Nope, can't even. Go in there, catch a Pokemon. That's literally the main goal. Is that a Mr. Mime? Really? Interesting to show up at Mount, well, I guess it is, it was close to Pewter City where you traded for the Mr. Mime. And in this game, obviously you're not trading anything. So you kind of had to find a way to fit in the stuff that you don't see as much, so that works. I'm sad, I still have not gotten to see the 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 Meowth bonus thing. So maybe this time. Maybe we'll get maybe we'll get it this time. We better. I'm gonna be so disappointed if I seriously don't get the Meowth. Come on. Oh nope. I wanted that great ball. Yeah, that was actually a solid catch. <laughs> yeah, this this pinball feels much more simplified. I think I like a uh, pinball like uh, cabinet that is a more simpler design. The red one just felt like way over my head. Don't ask me why. Just because I'm bad at this. Ugh. I really want that Meowth bonus, cause I remember it. It was like you had to, you got to catch like coins that he threw around. It was, it was just cool. And back around the, the thing. Good job. Yep. This is why. This is, this is. Ugh. <laughs> Good thing I'm not actually spending money on this one. And uh, the cool thing with this was, really. The cool thing with this game too, uh, it was for the Game Boy, the Game Boy Color, and it actually came with a rumble pack, so you could play it, and it felt like a real, um, like, pinball game. Oh, what the? Alright, we're in Viri Viridian Forest now. I like that too, how it changes locations. But now I guess, uh, maybe I'll catch a Caterpie or something. Let me catch something. Oh my gosh. Go in the shelter. No control. No control. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Is this my last one? Last ball. Come on. We gotta at least catch one more. Now I feel like I should just play until I get the Meowth bonus. But then, but we could be here a while. <laughs> Just go in the thing. What do we got? Ooh, a Weedle. I like Weedles. I know they're useless, and I know Beedrill is not exactly a strong Pokemon, even if it is a cool Pokemon, but I liked Weedles. I liked Weedles way more than Caterpies. Except for the fact that Caterpie evolved into Butterfree, which gave you an easy psychic ability early in the game, which was very useful. Weedle. Oh, he's cute. Look at his little spiky head. Pika. No, no. Thank goodness. I don't think I've gotten any bonus Pokeballs this whole time. Which would be really nice for me to actually like get through this. All right. Well, we caught Weedle, so that's something. 
Alright. Slot! What? Oh, sweet! Bonus! Give me something good. 30 seconds save. Oh, what's the Pikachus do? Oh, that's right. Gives me extra Pikachus on the side, no matter what now. Okay, now give me a new Pokemon. I want my three. Let me evolve my Weedle into a crappy, crappy Kakuna. Give me something. Ooh, Ultra Ball. That's cool. Ah. I feel like I'm just wasting time now. Something. Open up the cloister. Ah. And that's it. All right. Well, I felt like that was that was fun enough. Um. So that gave you a little taste of uh, my childhood with. Pokemon Pinball. Um, this one would would be another one next to Pokemon Snap that I think would be a fun addition to the Switch. Although I feel like it'd be a little harder to lay out with the the with the screen design and all that. But I don't know. Just an idea for a future for another day. But until then, uh, thank you all for watching. Go check out my other videos. Uh, next week I'll be back with a normal indie game. Uh, I have one planned already. And I'm excited to play it. And then this should be uh, the end of Wario this week. So I hope you guys will enjoy that. So go check those out. And of course, we're on Sock Pop Season 7. So lots to watch, lots to lots to see, and uh, a huge archive of stuff that you can watch as well. So thank you all for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.